It is summertime in northern Michigan, and for many people in the area, the season is spent predominantly on or near the lake. Walking on the sand, putting your feet in the water. It's these simple things that many of us love to do at the beach, but tend to take for granted. Meet Amy Stevens, a Spruce resident who at the age of 12 was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy. She grew up with the love of going to the beach like many of us do, but as her disease progressed, Amy lost her ability to walk and stand just over a decade ago. The reality of her ailment struck hard during last year's 4th of July holiday weekend, when she had to spend time with her family at a distance as they got to enjoy playing in the sand. That's when Amy decided to reach out after seeing a Facebook post that showed a beach access system for people with disabilities. I first seen a picture of an accessible beach mat on Facebook and I sent it to my friend Warren wishfully posting. I wish that we could make the Harrisville State Park accessible for everyone. And that's how it all got started. Amy's friend Warren McNeil, a Michigan conservation officer, got the call. Warren, who felt compelled to the idea, got to work quickly raising funds for the project. The timing of the project coincided with the 25th anniversary of the signing of the Americans with Disabilities Act. The ADA focuses on ability, on, on making access or places accessible for folks. And especially with the beach, it's really difficult to make accessibility or complete accessibility to the beach. And Amy was only asking for five feet, just a five feet, foot wide rock dock is what we ended up uh, getting donations for. Five dollars here, five dollars there. Donations from the local Lions Club, the Alcona County Review, and inspired neighbors led to today, where friends, family, members of the community, officers of the DNR, Warren and Amy, met for the ribbon-cutting ceremony of the accessible beach mat on Harrisville Park. <laughs> The Brock Dock, which cost just over $10,000 and was installed by the local DNR branch, is a lot longer than the five feet originally proposed by Amy and allows her and her service dog, Hassie Joe to go all the way down to the shoreline, allowing Amy to do many of the simple things she's missed out on over the past 11 years. I'm just looking forward to coming here and being able to go down to the water and hearing the waves and taking my service dog, Hassie Joe swimming and spending time, my family came over the 4th of July, and for the first time I was able to go to the beach with everyone. So it's really special to me, as it is to everyone on wheels, to be able to go to the beach and get through the sand and everything and enjoy it too. Amy says that despite the signing of the ADA in 1990, many steps still need to be taken, especially in northern Michigan, so that people all over will never have the feeling of being left out. With WBKB News in Harrisville, I'm Aaron Parsegian.